Hey, you guys. Hey, welcome back to another reading. The Black Femme Divine Masculine. Okay. So, let me tell y'all what I was hearing. Okay. I was hearing that somebody feels you need to be punished for something. Because they failed, like, this person failed to deliver, like, or maybe you did something, like, you took your power back in a way, and this person feels like you need to be punished, like, you know, uh, you don't deserve happiness or something like that. This person is weird. This is weird as fuck. This could be somebody that you're friends with as well. Or it's just like pretty much any relationship, any friendship, anything. This person is very envious of that. They're also envious of your success. This is a very jealous hearted person. And it's like they won't accept defeat, but they've already lost. So like get over it is what I feel. Yeah. If this is you, whoever you're dealing with, I don't care. Somebody needs to just get over it. Like they don't run shit. They don't run you. It's like this person, they, they, they're they doing something now because uh, they feel like you need to be punished. That's just what I'm hearing. It's like this person feels like they need to discipline you or something because they don't want you working where you're working. Like, whatever you're doing, they don't want you doing it. <laughs> okay. I feel like if you don't like what somebody's doing, stop paying so much attention to what they're doing then in my business. This person failed to walk their path. They failed to do what God told them to do. And now they feel like you need to, you, you, you got to die off because they can't do shit. Like I said, discipline reverse. They won't be doing shit. The only person that disciplines you is the most high God. If he feels like you're not worthy of something, then he is the one who will pass judgment. You dig a rush kid. I feel like these people need to learn their place. And, and because you all are empaths, right, it's like because you got this empathetic energy, right, somebody is trying to use that shit against you when they should have been being grateful. You're not sorry. You're not crying over shit. And it's nothing to deny. Like, you are undeniable. The most that this person has ever done for you was showed you that nobody can be trusted is what I want to say. This is like you walking away, right? You walking away, standing in your power, walking away because you don't want to deal with something anymore, right? This person feels like they need to punish you for that. Like, oh, so you got away from me. You escaped. You escaped. Oh, so you escaped. You ran away. I need to punish you. Girl, sit your whack ass down. Nigga, sit your ass down is what I want to say. I feel like this is very controlling energy here. Okay. Somebody very mad with you. Shout out. Privacy by Chris Brown is playing, honey. So, yeah, it's like you want your privacy. You want your freedom, your independence. And somebody is mad as hell at that. And not only that, they have literally failed to accept the fact that they need to mind their business. They, they failed to accept the fact that you're balanced and that judgment went in your favor. This person is not happy about this. This could be a friend of yours. I don't know. I don't care, honestly. Whoever this is in this energy don't deserve to be around you at all. That's just what I'm saying, fam. Masculine. I really don't care who this is. They don't deserve you. And see, this person knows that they're not worthy of your company. This person knows they're not worthy of your company, your blessings, or anything like that. They know this. Throat chakra. Somebody's also not feeling well. Y'all, um, make sure you're taking care of yourself. You know, peppermint tea, honey, whatever. Y'all leave some suggestions in the comments. You know, somebody's really not feeling well. Somebody needs to switch over to natural remedies instead of over the counter. Okay. Sacral chakra. What's here? Yeah, transformation reverse. So, uh... Pretty much. <laughs> like, they're not transforming. Somebody's impatient because you're winning. Duh. This energy, bro, this this is getting so typical and it's predictable. This is this is too predictable at this point. It's like y'all know what these people are going to do next. So, you're already prepared. And I feel like this person knows that. But some something about this person is, like, slow. It's like they got to be slow or something. Like, this person has a hard time understanding, comprehending. Processing or something. 
This is like a person that can read, like they can read words, but they can't comprehend what the fuck they just read kind of energy. You dig it, too? Yeah. Your movement, your choices, your decision, your movement, choices, and decisions, right? They're mad because you, you're, you're making your own decisions. You have authority to do so. First of all, this person does not even have any love for you. Whatever this person was doing to uh, show love or to say they love you or whatever, this was, this was, it was all fake. Somebody named Wesley for sure. Wesley, Weston, Winston, something. Carlos, conflict and defeat. Sean, I heard Meriwether. Child, you stood your ground. Somebody's about 5'7". And somebody's about 57 years old acting like a damn child. What else is here? Yeah, they're just discontent and bored. This person pissed off because you're spiritually stronger than them. <laughs> but see, they want to play spiritual games. How the fuck you sit up here trying to play spiritual games with a guru? Whoever you are, you're a fucking guru. Do you see this person? They trying to play spiritual games. Maybe you don't know you're a guru. Or you were one in your past life or something. And just something is very natural about your spirituality. And you're not aware of this. It's something like that, fam. Masculine. Queen. I feel like this person would be okay. If they, uh, you know, minded their business for a change. But they won't do that. So... I feel like they just gonna get disappointed. Like every this the, every attack this person sends to you, first of all, most of these attacks never even make it to y'all. And um it gets sent right back to them immediately. And they just like, well, well, I didn't even get a chance to see them hurt, or I, I didn't get a chance to enjoy them being attacked kind of energy. It's like this person sends a text to you and then sits back and tries to enjoy what they created or something. But the, but the whole time, whatever they were creating was coming back to them because they did this shit with a whole lot of force. Like, this person used a whole lot of energy to send negative shit your way. Like, they put they put their all into whatever this is. Straight up right here for the masculine. They put their all into this shit and still lost. <laughs> they're thinking of something else now, some dumb shit. You know, they're, they're thinking of something real stupid. I heard to start your week off. I feel like y'all folks is bossing up. I'm seeing somebody buying a brand new car. I'm seeing somebody, you know, at a nail shop getting their nails soles done. Masculine, this might be you. You might be getting, you know, um, pampered or something. I don't know what this is. Happy birthday, y'all. Definitely Libra season. Shout out to all my Libras. Y'all are pampering yourselves. I see somebody grocery shopping. Y'all are uh, shopping for your house and... It's, it's something that I'm seeing about you stocking. Like, somebody got a lot of damn dish detergent and washing powder. God damn. I'm seeing somebody. Maybe you be uh, cou couponing. Maybe somebody coupons in this bitch. Coupon. Couponing. Somebody got a lot of dish detergent and fucking hand sanitizer and gloves and shit. Like, somebody is, man. I don't blame you, fam, Masculine. Okay, whatever you need to do to keep your shit stocked up, hey. I'd rather need I'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. You dig a real skew? So there's an attachment here. May 21st. Okay. The garden the gate is closed to this fool. This 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 person, man. This person been in y'all energy for a very long time. Feel masculine, the sun card. You're happy already. Maybe it's because you're happy, that's why they're mad. The indecisiveness is what's sending me, okay? Somebody cannot, they, they can't figure out whether they want to mind their business or not. They can't figure out whether they want to stop sending a text to you or not. I mean, they ain't got to stop. Because like I said, these texts don't even make it to y'all. <clears throat> and they get immediate karma. Storm warning reverse, they were already warned as well. So... Why would you feel bad when that person getting their shit? Because somebody getting their shit right here. Y'all, just sit sit tight and see what God has 
Like, see what he's been doing. Yin yang. There's no deceit that's going to come on this journey with you. Whoever is being deceiving to you will be revealed and it's not coming anywhere near you. Period. This person was sitting back enjoying, like, it would, maybe, maybe they were able to manipulate something in your life. That's what I want to say. Because this person was doing spell work, but on top of that, they were physically doing shit. Like, they were calling people, reporting you to shit, like, coming to your home, flattening your tires, putting shit in your fucking gas tank and shit. A lot of y'all need a whole brand new fucking car because this person fucked your car up. Angel of love. But why the fuck are you fucking up somebody's car? You trying to fuck somebody's car up because you think that's going to bring some kind of abundance to you? Are you, like, are you serious? It's like every car you get, this person fucks your car up or they do something like that because they don't have any blessings at all and they're never going to have any because of look at what they're doing. This person feels like, oh, so you went out and got a new car? You need to be punished. I didn't tell you to do that. Oh, you got a new car so you can impress them bitches. You got a new car so you can impress them niggas. No, you got a new fucking car because you got children and this person keeps fucking your shit up. The fuck? This person's a motherfucking loser. They mad at you because God keeps blessing you over and over. You don't even be seeing these blessings coming, but since you are contracted and you are on God's side, he's on your side protecting you. God is going to make sure that you're able to move the way he needs you to move. You nigga, Ruth? God is not going to tell you to move or do anything if he ain't equipped you with the shit to move. That's what I'm trying to tell you right here, fam, after that. This person think that they're um, sending you on a dummy mission or something like that. Child, please. Our angel Michael is here. Wherever, whatever direction this person feels like you're going in, spirit got a, a spiritual detour for you is what I want to say. It's something, it is an illusion to someone about your journey. But this is what I'm saying. Your journey, why oh you are. Like, this is your journey, like not theirs. I don't see why this person is paying so much fucking attention to you anyway. But like I said, they feel like you need to be punished. I seen 1221. I also saw 1212. But see, look, child, Angel, um, our Angel, somebody named Angel. Our Angel Ariel, Uriel, and Michael is here. Financial constraints reversed. Oh, they 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 were they failed at making you broke. Child, what is it for? This person wants you to be broke, flat on your ass, like with nothing. This person wants everything to fall down for you. They don't want they don't want you to have shit. Cause they like, oh, who told you to do that? I didn't give you permission to do that. How are you gonna go and do something and level up over me? I feel like this person does care about you, but they sit in the back watching you and everything that you obtain that's more than what they're doing, they destroy it. If they feel like something is better than them or like something that they created and you created something better, they'll destroy it. They'll send spell work. They'll physically destroy it. They'll do whatever they need to do to destroy your shit. And that's what this person does. The fucking narcissist here. The need to punish you because you left. A lot of y'all went far, far away from this person. This person can't find you. They can't locate you either. I feel like you left no trace for this stupid fool to keep following you to fuck around. This is a goddamn idiot. This is a loser. You're blessed by the most high God. Child, please. And you're blessed with the ability to have common fucking sense. And you listen to your guidance. To the C, Yang reverse. So, yeah. You know. You already know. Somebody named Noah or Noel, Joel, Joel or something. Joey. Yeah, this is a false twin flame or somebody with some kind of false hope to be binded to you. Somebody wants to bind you to them. Child, who the fuck wants somebody stuck to them, honey? Y'all is some weird ass motherfucking people in this world. Who the fuck wants somebody? Who in the hell needs complete control over somebody? Girl, that shit takes too much motherfucking work, honey. That shit literally takes too much work trying to keep up with somebody's goddamn life. That, that shit takes too much fucking work, bro. Like, motherfuckers like, I don't know about y'all, but I don't make life hard. I, I will accept the challenge when it's worthy. 
But just to be able to control somebody, like that shit takes too much fucking work, honey. This person is getting up every single day, concocting spells. They gotta do spells all day long for something to not go in your favor, and that's the fucking truth the root. This person is doing spells all day, every single fucking day to control you. Or to control some kind of outcome in your life, like, but they're not controlling shit. They're only getting karma. They're watching everything you do. Like I said, why don't you stop fucking watching, bitch? Stop fucking watching. There is no mending this shit. Whatever this is, you don't want nothing to do with this person. It's like y'all moved on. It's like you're like a ghost or something. It's like you're there, but you're not there. You know what I'm saying? Mess with me. <laughs> Somebody feels this hard. Who gives a fuck? Now they're thinking of another plan. They're thinking of another plot. Oh, trust me, this person ain't went too far. Y'all buying houses and buying new uh, cars and shit. Oh, this person is somewhere in the background trying to find a way to fuck that up too. Girl, you was not finna fuck up this person's blessings, bitch. The fuck is wrong with you? I feel like God got you far away from this person for a reason because that's all they did. This person literally... It's like anything you anything you obtain, this person comes and they fuck it up, literally. This person will wait till 3, 4 o'clock in the morning when you're asleep. You know, um, if somebody in your house, they know that person, they'll call and say, make sure they're asleep or ask if you sleep or if you up. Or they'll just be sitting outside your fucking house watching your home or something. This person will sneak up and flatten your tires, put something in your goddamn gas tank, put tracking devices on your car. This person comes in your house when you ain't fucking there. You know what I'm saying? This is a fucking loser. Yeah, in reverse. This is not your twin. Yin and Yang is in the reverse. You have a leg up over this person because you're not in this community anymore. You got your blessings and you got the fuck on. This is sickening. This this person is sick. They don't have any gifts. And see, the reason why they don't have any is because of whatever they're doing now. <coughs> it's because of whatever the fuck they're doing now. What else is here? Thank you, Daddy, for the message. What else is here for Dubai? I feel Dubai message. What is she saying? It doesn't make any sense because it's just like, child, like, it's so typical. Like, bitch, you do the same shit over and over. Nigga, you do the same thing over and over again. It's like y'all be expecting, you know. A lot of y'all have to get cameras and shit on your car. Why? Who the fuck needs to live like that? Like, for you to not be this person, for these people to always try to convince you that you're not worthy of anything, they show do a whole fucking lot. You're being supported at this time by spirit, period. And it's also some kind of new love this person I want you to have. So even if you moved on, this is an old person. This, this person is old. And the shit that they're doing is fucking old too. But it's like they don't want you to move on to anyone else. They want you to be single. They want to keep you stuck. Like I said, bind it to them or feeling that way. This person is not mature at all. This person is not even on your fucking level. This is a fucking losing ass motherfucker. It's a loser, bro. I mean, how much losing can you take? They obviously can't take it at all because that's why they always trying to get in your fucking lane. This person is losing so badly that they feel like they need to come and take something from you. Yeah, because real winners don't do that shit. Motherfuckers that's winning, they ain't worrying about nobody else's losses or their wins, period. They're too busy. Polishing their own trophies. <laughs> the fuck wrong with y'all people. Motherfuckers too busy getting their thank you speech ready for the most I got and shit. Bitch, ain't nobody studying nobody else shit. When you're winning, you're not worried about nobody else shit. You're worried about your own household. This could be somebody mama. But, you know, this person is very karmic. It's, it's something about this person's energy that's just that I don't like this person at all. Your ex, whoever, like all these people know each other. And it's like they're all on the same shit. The fuck is this, the narcissistic club or something? It's an exclusive membership to get in this goddamn club. And y'all don't want no, no parts of this. 
I heard the membership fee is too high for y'all, fam. That's me. Okay, child. Y'all don't want nothing to do with these backdoor backgammon playing motherfuckers right here. And these motherfuckers, they got no kind of swag. They ain't got no sauce. They got nothing going on. Y'all got way more swag than these people. It's like everything you do is times 30 compared to these motherfuckers. And they can never step with you. You dig a rooster? They can't never step with no motherfucking capital. They can't step with no capital right here. These folks get stepped the fuck on, stepped over, looked over, walked on, all this shit. And see, the thing about it is, it's like, how dare you sit up here and act shocked? Like, you're really shocked? Like, nah, you can't be shocked. You can't be shocked that you get your shit right here. Somebody mad because they can't look into your life. Bro, y'all folks that got the fuck on. And for a lot of you all, this is a copycat. This is, and if this is your ex, they want to be you. I don't care if you're masculine or feminine. This person wants to be you. They, they want to be in your position. I told y'all, a lot of y'all exes and shit be in competition with y'all. This could be your twin flame. You know, on some low vibe and ass fuck shit. This, this could be your own twin flame. Sitting back fucking hating. Sending you the evil eye and shit. Wishing ill on you. <coughs> Excuse me. Wishing the worst for you. Gatekeeper reverse. Mourning for some sacred with sins lost. Man, y'all for living life. I'm here to take it to the head by DJ Kelly. Chris Brown. Look, this thieving ass motherfucker. <laughs> Trying to steal. Once again, that's all this person do. That's all these people do in their world, bro. They steal some shit. These people are not original. They can't get shit on their own. These people will steal from your kids, bro. This is very sad to me. I don't feel like y'all have done anything like this to this person. But, you know, they feel like you need to be punished. They feel like you need to be in bad health because they are. Like, oh, something ain't going right in my life. And this, it, every, everything's going good in yours. Oh, no. So let me fix that with a spell. Let me, let me fix that with some kind of bullshit-ass spell. Y'all are not even thinking about these people. It's the sense of somebody named Tori. Somebody really think that you're in a competition with them. Somebody named Nadia. <coughs> Excuse me. Nadine. Or something like that. Like you're working. It's, that's never going to change. They feel like. No. Uh -uh, you, you can't do anything on your own. Somebody also wants you to feel like you can't take care of your kids or something. Like, that's too much responsibility. Especially, like, if your baby mama or your baby father pass away. This person is definitely trying to stay around because they feel like, like, if this is a mother or a father energy, this person is trying to um, tell you or convince you that you're not strong enough to do this on your own when you can. This person just wants to control you. And it could be something about money. Yeah, somebody could have lost their baby father or their baby mother, for sure. But, you know, January 21st, October the 27th, you're on your journey already. And here comes this person trying to steal again. This person is definitely trying to make you lose something once again here, fam masculine. I promise you, this person has not forgotten you know, that you moved on or something like that. It's like they're sitting in the background trying to wait for the right time to do something, but they're only going to land themselves in poverty. It's my name, Octavia. Octavius. What else is here? February the 24th, July 23rd. They're not stealing shit from you is what I'm saying. They won't be doing anything. Yeah, somebody, baby mama or their baby father is passed on. And, you know, this, this person is protecting you spiritually. This I feel like this person even be trying to spiritually fuck with your, your uh, ancestors. Like your past over loved ones. This motherfucker right here done went to somebody, um, grandmother gravesite or their father or their mother. This is a low down motherfucker right here. If you lost somebody that you genuinely care about, this person be at a gravesite doing magic on you. Whoever this person is, they're married. 
Like, if you're married, bitch, why don't you tend to your husband or your wife? Like, I don't get this. Why are you so focused on somebody else and where, the path that they chose to take? Bitch, you need to mind your business. If this person is doing something wrong, then let them learn they lesson in. I feel like God teaches the best motherfucking lessons, honey. You don't need to come in and try to intercept shit for this person, bitch. You need to back the fuck up and leave them alone. This person don't need your motherfucking help at all. And that's what you're afraid of. This person is actually doing way better than you, honey. This old ass bitch right here. This person wants to convince you that you can't make it. Oh, okay. Bitch, if I need your help, I'll call you. I, I really feel like if y'all needed help from these people, y'all would call. These people are not even privileged. These people won't even give you a chance to stand in your own power. Because they feel like they need to punish you for walking away in the first place. Are you going to walk away from us? You going to walk away from me? You think you can do it on your own? Well, go and do it on your own. Yeah, but you 30 years old. Motherfuckers is 35 years old. This person is quite capable of doing what the fuck they need to do, bitch. Even if they was 18, 19. This person is capable of taking care of themselves. If your whack ass would stop doing fucking spell work and shit, bitch, maybe they wouldn't worry about nothing. Maybe if you stay the fuck away from their car in their fucking house, bitch, they'll just be fine. Bitch, this for anything that y'all got, y'all accumulated on your own. And this person comes in and fucks it up. And then try to convince you that you're in a bad area. Oh, you shouldn't be over there anyway. You need to come back home. You shouldn't have moved out of there. It's out of town. It's dangerous. No, bitch. You're the fucking problem. This person would be just fine if y'all hoes and niggas would stop sending spell work and stop fucking with people um, fucking property. They won't be touching your new fucking whip right here, masculine fam. This new car that you got, they ain't gonna be doing a motherfucking thing. These bitches and niggas going to jail. You won't be touching this person's shit. You come anywhere near this person's shit, you're gonna get lit the fuck up, bitch. February 29th. This person right here, whoever the fuck this CFM master, this person definitely was sitting in the background destroying your shit. And then try to convince you that you're in a bad neighborhood or something. Your house got broken into this bitch or this nigga did it. And then turn around trying to make it seem like you're in a bad fucking area. No, you're not. No, the fuck you not, bro. They want to make it seem like every decision that you make on your own is the wrong decision or something. No, it's not. How the hell God going to bless you with something and then it's the wrong thing? No, the only thing you did wrong was telling this motherfucker where you live at. The only thing you did fucking wrong was, was telling this person what kind of car you drove. This person made sure they were the first person to come over and fuck up some shit on your car. And then you'll, you'll be thinking that it's one of your neighbors or something and you got beef with a neighbor. No, it's this damn person. This narcissistic motherfucker. They were doing this shit every chance they got. And you are way far away from this person. I mean, you're so far away from this person, they can't touch you at all. And whoever this is, is broke as fuck. They couldn't even afford to get anywhere near you. The only time this person can affect you is if you go around them, period. There's the tower, bitch. Shocking realization. I feel like these people need to learn how to mind their motherfucking business. This person wouldn't be having no issues. This is the emperor, the empress, bitch. They wouldn't be having no issues if you would just stay the fuck away from their vehicles and shit. Masculine child. I don't know who your baby mama is or whoever your dad is, your mom. I don't give a fuck. They're in the seven of swords. Fam, this could be you and emperor energy. Somebody's literally in the seven of fucking swords being sneaky as fuck. Stalking you with the page of swords. Child and the ten of pentacles. King of Swords reverse. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. This is bullshit.
it's like they sitting up here trying to convince you that everything you're doing is wrong when they're the ones like this person is literally the one sitting back flattening your tires and putting shit in your gas tank no dead ass for real this it's like they try to they try to stay in the background doing shit though they sit back and do shit so you can call them two of ones reverse hey can you come give me a ride to the tire shop man somebody done flat my tire they already knew they flat your fucking tire. They just wanted you to call them and need them for some shit. The lovers. Gemini energy. Girl, please. This is very fucking narcissistic. Oh, you chose to move out of the house? You gonna leave? Okay, so I'm gonna make sure I come around and ruin everything around you so you can come back home. Girl, bye. Get the fuck out of here, bitch. This person is never gonna need you. Justice is being served here, fam, masculine. Three of Pentacles. They were working with other people, too. They could have been working with somebody in your um, neighborhood or something, fam, masculine. I don't know. That's why it's best to be somewhere where don't nobody fucking know you. Like I said in another reason, the chosen ones, prophets ain't never welcomed in their own hometown, bro. It's too many people that know you. And they begin to hate you for the calling that's on your life. It's just something about your hometown. Anybody that makes it don't live in a hometown. I'm just trying to say the vibe. Anybody who get a bag, they get the fuck on. Who in the fuck would want to stay in their hometown? Cherry, y'all moved on. You moved away and this person is mad. They're mad because they're not close. You're not close enough for them to uh, use you. Eight of Pentacles, take advantage of you. Fuck up your shit. Oh, so the accomplishments that y'all are doing, child, you got to understand this person is pissed the fuck off about that. Temperance, Sag energy. Masculine is the king of fucking pinnacles here. You mean to tell me every time you get a vehicle, every time you get a car, every time you get a new place, this person is going to come and try to put bad roots on your shit? Hey, man. This person literally sits and stalks you. Six of Wands, and they were putting they were putting tracking devices on your car, you know, so they can bring conflict to you wherever you went. It's like they needed to know where you are all the time. This seems like a parent or something, or, or somebody. I don't know. The Four of Cups. They missed a fucking opportunity, though. This person ain't see something coming. <coughs> Child. Queen of Pentacles reverse. I like I said, this motherfucker is broke. Whoever this is broke as fuck, and they can't do shit anyway. It's like they're trying so goddamn hard to make something fall for you, but it's only falling for them. The Queen of Wands reverse. Child, this is what I'm saying. The Three of Swords. They're heartbroken because you left. What the hell? Like, girl, move on, honey. Nigga, you need to move on. I really feel like that Six of Cups, someone from your past. The best thing y'all could have did was got the fuck away from this person. This person is doing a lot of mirror magic as well. Seven of Wands to try to block you. It's like they're trying to project their losing ass life onto you. You're not losing. This person is. These are a bunch of damn illusions. Because they're the one that's losing. This is the fucking loser. Not you, fam masculine. I don't feel like it's y'all that's losing. Let's see what the T is on this damn bitch. This nigga, they're extra triggered. Duh. Mad as hell. What did I say? Inside school. They need to know every damn move you're making. This is weird to me. Y'all are hustling. You're steadily hustling and this person is mad. Oh, well. I feel like you need to do something that makes yourself happy then. The only thing that makes this person happy is keeping up with you and everything you're doing. This person is also sending people towards you, like trying to scare you away from something. This bitch or this nigga wants you to come home. Like somebody, if you moved out of town, they, they trying to scare you. So you can go running back home or something. But see, the thing about it is y'all ain't scared. That's the thing. Thank you, spirit. Y'all folks ain't scared of shit. The fuck are you scared for? You walk, you walk with the most high guy. What the fuck are you scared for? This person done went broke hiring people. To try to scare you and shit. Who in the fuck thinks about all this? Like this takes too much work. Strength. This this 
all this shit right here, all this shit that these people are doing to y'all, this takes a lot of work, bro. It really does. Like, this takes a whole lot of goddamn work to do. Like I said, it's our scoop reverse. This person don't know where the fuck you are. And they never will. What's good? Nobody can divide masculine. Thank you, daddy. Liberation. Child, y'all folks is being big kids right here. Y'all, that's the energy y'all in. Y'all got this real childlike energy here. You're enjoying your life, bro. This this is not gonna phase you at all. Or it shouldn't here, fam masculine. You dig a roof school? Y'all stay in this energy. Stay vibing high. Cause this is very sad to me. It's like everything you mean to tell me everything you do, every, anything you accomplish, this person gotta come and ruin it. Like, are you fucking kidding? But then they expect to be blessed. Like, they're doing spell work all day, bro. Stay the fuck away from this person. I don't give a damn who the fuck this is to you. Stay the fuck away from them. You left, keep going. You don't owe this person a fucking thing, and they don't owe you shit either. See, one thing about it, it's going to be some low vibrational energy getting sent to you. But don't mind that. It's an illusion. They're doing magic. They're going to get their shit. Don't worry about it. They're going to get their shit. They're trying to paint illusions to you like you're not going to make it. Like something that's too heavy to carry or... No, you are well equipped to do whatever you need to do, bro, for you and your family. On your fucking own. You are not codependent. This person wants you to be codependent very bad. And it's not going to happen. It's like their only goal is to have you codependent on them. They need something or something, someone to take care of. Bitch, you need to go get a dog. Why don't you go start gardening or something, nigga? Why don't you go start a business or something if you need something to do so badly here? You don't control no fucking body, bitch. And anybody that comes into this person's life, they could never control them. Thank you, spirit. They could never control anyone. They feel like they can control you because you're their child or something like that. I don't know. But that's not true, fam. That's when y'all are, are capable of, of taking care of shit on your own. I heard taking care of business. Okay, you know That's all I got for you, fam. That's when remember, God loves you and so do I. See you next time.